back in, I guess it was 2016 at iCast. If you don't know what iCast is, it's a, the show that uh, they bring out all the new stuff. It's for industry. International Convention of Allied Sport Fishing Trade. Okay, there you go. And they have a whole con not Fireball. really a contest. Yeah, they <laughs> they, they, they they bring out all the new stuff. Well that year the Suicide Duck three D suicide duck from, from Savage, Okuma, Gear, Savage Gear came out and quite honestly it took the show by I mean everybody was talking about this thing. Um and I honestly hadn't seen them at my local tackle sh- shops. I I go I fish I go to Brookers in Leesburg to go do my fishing purchasing and official tackle purchasing and and I wanted I saw this and I asked them and and bought it. Now it normally comes in three sizes. There's one that's smaller than this. It's act- this is actually somewhat heavy, and they have one that's even bigger than this. And they come in I think three different. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they have them in three different colors. I bought the one that was the most thing. And I thought, well, you want to know what? I, you got to see it. You, I had to buy it. Now, it has the the wings. I guess that's the wings or the t- the. Those the would be feet. the web feet. feet. Yeah, the web, the web feet. feet are Not like close to being wings. <laughs> wings. I, don't know, are I don't know if you know <laughs> basically the anatomy, the anatomy, the anatomy of a bird. bird. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not a bird lover, so no. <laughs> you're not an ornithologist. Boudreaux, you would know this perfectly. Boudreaux's yes, gotten aroused looking at this thing. Uh, <laughs> look at his chops. <laughs> he's thinking it's dinner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he, he's he's putting this thing ready for duck gumbo, <laughs> P- Peking duck. Uh, so they uh, <laughs> they're like the whopper plopper, uh, kind of. Have, have you ever <laughs> used a whopper plopper? Oh yeah. This is the same kind of what they have in the on the, the tail end of the, the of the, the whopper plopper. By the way, is a ridiculous knockoff of a one hundred year old bait. Is it? Oh my God! Yes. Is that was so? Here's my question: at You being the lure aficionado, I, have I you ever not, seen a, we're, a we're duck going lure? Later today. Uh, have I seen duck? Yeah, I've seen some duck lures. I've seen bird lures. Yeah, yeah. flipping the bird. Flipping the bird. I met well, him. Even, we met yeah. him. even before that, Black there were some back at, that I am. I remember from the seventies when I was getting started in fishing. But there have been bird lures for well over a hundred years. Yeah, Hedden used to have some bird lures a long time ago. So this bait, uh, the suicide duck by Savage Gear, is was about twenty bucks, maybe a little bit more than that. The smaller one is, I think, twelve ninety five. And the larger one is even bigger. The large one, I didn't have a rod that could possibly throw it. So I bought it, took it out, and uh, pleasantly was surprised that it actually casted decent. And also the problem is it has a tendency to want to fly south at certain <laughs> times. <Yeah. and> <laughs> <laughs> even if there's no wind. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know how to And that. the feet. <laughs> oh, there you go. And the feet. <laughs> It's <laughs> a good video he took, and the feet really make a good reaction in the water. They they spin well and and they do. It, it makes a heck of a commotion. It that's makes sure. a lot yeah. of commotion. Now I would say the my only problem was is and, and this might have been because of the way I was. <laughs> The kids kept throwing bread balls at it. <laughs> 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 now I went. Uh, the truth of the matter is, I went to a place where there were a lot of ducks. And as soon as I threw this in, the ducks got out of the water. <laughs> like, maybe there was something so. going on. Somebody done <laughs> let crazy cousin <laughs> Willie in the water. <laughs> Dang, I thought he left. <laughs> that damn thing ran in after chasing down alligators and stuff. And it has uh, in the commotion. It, it, it has a good commotion in the water. I did not catch a fish with it. My my problem was is in trying to in trying to hold a camera and reel up a pole and I stuck the pole between my legs and reeled with my left hand and <laughs> held the camera with my right hand. I'm going so many ways. So many directions. And, in this. and <laughs> it was, I, I think you need to keep the rod tip up because when the rod tip was down, the nose of the the bird, the lure, was in the water. And as the closer it got to me, it, it started duck. to plane the duck. It started to plane and be normal. And I would say that would be the only problem. But if you if you look on on the on this little video, I did some little videos for us, and I think they turned out halfway decent. They were done a little bit late in the day, but 
overall. It came out good. Yeah. It looked good. Nice it, little video you did. You know, it was it's 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 one of those lures that I really, to be honest, I really want to catch something on. And it won the iCast. It did so win best. I mean, obviously show. they had something going on. And you can see in in the thing in the our little video that they have different uh, colors. But overall, not bad. Didn't catch a fish on it. Beautiful lure. Don't know if I'll catch a fish with it, because quite honestly. You start throwing a little duck, and every time somebody drives by and sees the silhouette of this thing, they stopped to ask if that was a real duck. I had two people stop me and ask if that was a real duck, and I said, <laughs> hey, do you really think? a SOB <laughs> that put a hook in a baby duckling. <laughs> so, oh, my gosh. Now and, 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 and the other thing is, this is an ex- you, you, And your answer was, this of course, well, it better be. I paid 20 bucks for it. <laughs> <laughs> It twenty dollars is a lot of a lot of money, and I and you want to I appreciate Brooker's getting it for me and and because uh, I did ask so so ch- you can check it out Savage Gear like I said I don't know if I'll ever use it again I'll probably go in Thomas's tackle box he loved it I'll take the hooks out of it he loved the the lure yeah he l- I mean literally loved it he just thought it was the best he can he'd take a bath and play with it in the bathtub <laughs> for all I care. Uh, but I would like I would if I catch something no, on this. That's an expensive rubber duck. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> twenty dollars rubber catch, duck. I catch something on this. You're going to see pictures of it everywhere because I, th- it looks like it could catch fish. I didn't catch any fish, so we'll see. I'd like to take that down south in, into the, those back canals in Miami with those big peacock take bass it. and eat those little. Take it. There's a lot take of muskogees down there. Take it home with you. All right, thanks. <laughs> 